My name is Marlena Watson. I am a Staff Sergeant in the New York Army National Guard. I am currently a recruiter and retention NCO. When I graduated my senior year in high school, I enlisted as a medic. Being a medic is definitely a full-time job in itself. A lot of stuff with medical is always changing, always getting updated. So you're always learning new stuff. You're always training. So when you're in a situation, you never second guess yourself. You just snap to it. It's funny talking about that night because when I talk to all my friends about it, they're like, you're crazy. And I really, honestly, I did not think I did anything really crazy. I thought I would do what anybody would have done in that situation. It basically started about 10 o'clock at night. I'm playing Call of Duty in my living room. Had the headphones on, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing. And I heard five gunshots and I'm like, that's real gunshots. Run downstairs to my son to see if he's all right. Cause I don't know if something got ricocheted, went through a window, checked him, sound asleep. And I opened the front door and I see two people yelling, help me, help me. Of course, in training, you're supposed to seem safe. Hey, look both ways. I, I didn't, I just snapped to it. Ran to them, it's dark. All I had was the light from the street light. So I see this guy, he was shot in his back. He was bleeding, I didn't have anything to use to stop the bleeding and I was like, sock. Took off his boot, held the sock there. I tell a bystander, come here, hold this. I go to the next guy. The next guy was shot twice in his leg. He's like, it hurts really bad. And I was like, I understand. And he's like, call my mom. Come to find out they were 13 and 15. I tell my sister, run upstairs to get a blanket. By the time she came down with the blanket, the EMTs were there, the police were there. And that's that. When they left in the ambulance, I knew that they were good to go. Like I knew that they were gonna survive. I didn't expect anything from it. Um, I just went to work the next day and was like, so, drive-by shooting happened in front of my house. Like, what, oh my God. And you know, you know, you tell them about the situation. Everybody's like, wow, good job, congratulations. And then nine, 10 months later, I found out that I received the New York State Medal of Valor, which is the highest award you can receive in New York State. And I, I was beyond honored. When Tom Watson rushed into that situation, she helped save the lives of the two young people. And without hesitation, to just get over there and help. That's how we all stand ready, we all stand prepared to do what we must, what we need to do when we are called upon. So it is important that we take care of ourselves, physically, mentally, seek self-improvement. I love running. I started running a lot when I was in Afghanistan. Uh, Army 10 miler, you know, Tough Mudder. I, I definitely try to change it up. Push-ups, sit-ups, ab works, biking, always keeping it fun. The Army National Guard motto now is always ready, always there. And if you're not physically ready, if you're not mentally ready, how are you gonna take care of yourself, but not only yourself, the person next to you? So guarding your health should be a number one priority.